In the next few minutes, I'll be giving you information about cashew farming. Information that you, prob you probably haven't heard anywhere. I'll be giving you information on the cost of growing one acre of cashew farm. From the beginning to the end. From the cost analysis to the revenue, the potential revenue, and to the profit you are likely, most likely, to make from one acre of cashew farm. Hello guys, my name is Yao Simpi Setra and this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Aceda House Commodities. Remember, Aceda House Commodities is a maize trading entity that we have taken our time over the past 10 years to study the maize markets of Ghana and the maize trading trends of Ghana. Now, should you need any maize, any quantity for your production, being a poultry farmer, being a fish farmer, being an animal feed producer, or being a beer production company, we are the best people to speak with. Talk to us and let's sort you out. Now, in today's video, we all know that cashew is a cash crop. We all know that cashew, we now have the cashew authority or the cashew management authority, which way you want to call it, in Ghana. What I mean is that we have a body, we now have a body that we use, that, that talks about cashew, that makes sure that cashew um, the business from the farming to the trading to the exportation of it is standardized. All right, which makes cashew one of the you know biggest cash crops we have in Ghana. Okay. Now, before this video, few days ago, two days ago, I think I brought you a video talking, you know, about some of the challenges that Ghana as a country is facing. You know in the cashew industry the fact that we lose about about 30 to 100 million dollars every year because we are not able to process it that that one is there and i promised that i was going to bring you a video you know talking about how to take advantage of this you know problems of these situations issues in the cashew industry and today the first video i'm bringing to you in this series of you know cashew business is Cashew farming. All right. Now, like I said earlier, you know, cashew is a cash crop, which means that if you plant it, you are not going to start making money from, you know, the next four or five months, the next one year. Actually, cashew takes close to three years to start harvesting. If you want to go into cashew farming after planting, you should expect your first seed in the next three years. Okay, now that cannot deter you. You cannot let that deter you. And the reason is very simple. Because after planting your cashew, the farm can last for up to 30 years. What this means is that when you start, you know, when you start harvesting, you will harvest every season, every year, till the next 30 years before you can think of replacing your trees or doing any such thing or even, you know, deciding to get out of the business. But by the time I finish with this, with the analysis I'm about to bring you, I'm very sure, I'm very positive that you will have the zeal and the willingness to go into cashew farming. Right. Now, one will say after, you know, you know this channel to be a maize trading channel. Why are we bringing cashew information or uh, cashew information about cashew business? Yes, this is Ashko TV. Agribusiness in Ghana Information Center. All right. It's not only maize we are going to talk about. There are other seasonal crops that we are also going to talk about. We have talked about vegetables on this channel. And we are talking about cash crops too. Now, the first batch of you know the cash, cash crops that we are talking about is the cashew. Now, let's get straight into the in, in, into the information. All right. So the first thing you should take you should take note is that cashew takes three years. That one has been you know said already. And then the next thing is that cashew does very well in sandy loamy soil. 
it does very well in sandy loamy soil so, and in ghana we know that these you know types of soils can be found in the middle belt around bono east region bono region you know and and it's you know surroundings that is where cashew does really well okay so what does this mean it means if you really want to go into cashew farming your best bet will be that you come to Bono East or Bono region, you know, to look for land. Okay, so looking for land, per our research, the cost, we are starting from, you know, the, the cost analysis, right? Then we will descend towards the revenue, possible revenue that you are, you are likely to make every year. Now, a land, an acre of land, cost around 3,000 cities. That's the first line item, the first cost item. 3,000 cities, an acre. Now, you have your land secured. You also have to do some work, right? So we are looking at uh, some 300 cities for clearing of your land. Okay, so we are looking at 300 cities for clearing of your land. And then you also need your seedling, your cashew seedling. Okay, so right now we are talking about 20 cities for a seedling. And if you look at it, an acre, for every cash crop, or for most cash crops, you know that an acre takes 40 trees. All right, but in this case, you might want to make it 50. Why do you want to make it 50? Because it's very likely that some of the trees will not grow okay so in that case this the 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 the, the, the difference of 10 seedlings will make up for the, those that will not you know um see the you know that, that will not germinate that will not do well okay so if you're talking about if you want to buy 50 seedlings then we are talking about 20 by 50 and then we are we are talking about thousand cities for your cost of what of your seedling now right after you have your seedlings you're going to have something that we all know labor because people are going to plant the seedling right now that labor cost that labor cost should cost you not more than 300 cities Planting an acre of cashew farm shouldn't cost you more than 300 cities. Okay, so you have that one also sorted out. Now, one good thing about cashew is that you don't need fertilizer. You don't need to apply any fertilizer. All right. The only thing you, you will do is you have to, you know, control the weed. So you, you are more likely to get weedy site. Or maybe you do manual weeding. Which one you so prefer is you, you go by it. Okay, so let's say uh, the weed decides, and maybe some insecticide, right? Because all these um, cash crops you have one or two insecticides worrying them. So if you budget like say 500 cities, okay, if you budget like 500 cities for your insecticide, your weed decide, and even the labor of applying these chemicals. Okay, you budget 500 cities for for them. All right, so you're likely to get some 5,100 cities as your cost of planting one acre of cashew farm or setting up one acre of cashew farm. All right. Now, I believe a lot of you are watching this video because you want to know the revenue, the possible revenue that you might get you are more likely to get out of a cashew farm. Now, we all, we, you should also know that the more the, the tree grows, the more the tree matures, the more it's able to do what? To bear fruits and to bear what your seed, cashew seed. Okay, so let's say you just want to, you know, make your, your revenue out of the cashew seed okay 
let's say it's just the seed that you want to make your revenue from because that is why that is what have ready market okay now as we are talking now march 2024 a kilo a kilo of cashew seed is around 10 cities a kilo is around 10 cities now an acre of cashew farm is likely to give you somewhere around 10 bucks of cashew 10 bucks everything being equal you are likely to get 10 bucks of cashew from an acre of cashew farm okay now this 10 bucks most of the times you will get 100 kg so let's say let's use 100 kg sometimes you get more than 100 kg times 10 or sometimes you get like 19 85 kg from 10 so let's just use 100 kg okay which means you're going to get a thousand kilos of cashew from an acre and if you have 10 cd a cost of an a, a kilo being 10 cities what it means is that the revenue you're getting from it in a year is around 10,000 cities it's what around 10,000 cities so that is your your what your revenue for a year all right that's not the only thing we are talking about here because like i said earlier this is a cash crop what this means is that it its prospects go beyond one year okay and if you are you're making 10000 in every year you are likely to make this 10000 in the next 30 years all right and you and I know that as the, as, as the years goes by, prices also go up. So let's just say you're making 10000 in the next 10 years. Okay, that's a cool 100000 Okay, and mind you, you're not going to buy land again in the next year. In the following year, you're, in the following years, you're not going to buy land again. In the following years, you're not going to buy seedling again. The only thing you'll be buying, the only first cost that you'll be buying, you, you, you'll be incurring year by year will be your, your weedy side, your insecticide, and your labor cost, you know, for applying these things. All right. So this is the information um, concerning me, um, cashew farming. All right. Now, if you want to have 10 acres, you know what to do. If you want to, if you're going to do 100 acres, you know what to do. Let me also add that we don't have, we at Ashco do not deal in lands. We don't do land business. People do call us that they want land, they want farmlands. We don't do land business. Okay. If once a while we come across a farmer or a landowner who want to sell lands, we will bring it to you. But until then, we don't do land business. That is not our core mandate. That's not our core business. All right. So this is the information. Please, please, if you want to go into cash crop and you want to you want to consider cash, these are the informations at least that can guide you into your cash farming business. Until we meet in the next one, my name is Yawa Simpi Sechre, and this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Aceda House Commodities. Bye-bye for now.